I'm Teresa welcome back to my channel today and um, today I'm going to be showing you a really easy um, printing project perfect if you are brand new to gel printing perfect if you don't have many paint supplies perfect if you're not confident with mixing colors this is really simple back to basics but a nice effective and um, easy project for you and we're going to be making these simple greetings postcards today so I'm going to clear these out of the way and then I'll get set up and I'll be back to show you how it's done Today I'm going to be working on my 5 by 7 inch Jelly Arts gel printing plate. Perfect size for the project that we're doing today because today we're going to be printing on postcards and these are 6 by 4 inches so fit really nicely on this size of plate. The postcards that I'm using today I picked up um, from a store called Flying Tiger. It's a Danish chain of stores. They've got branches throughout Europe and the UK. I'm not entirely sure whether they have um, stores outside of Europe, but there are plenty of other companies that do create this type of blank postcard for you putting your own artwork on. If I can find a link to something similar on Amazon, I will pop it in the Amazon storefronts in the description below. If you can't find something like this, just cut out a piece of watercolour cardstock and on one side um, just rule a couple of lines and then you can put your design on the other side. Really doesn't matter um, too much. I have a few pieces of household stuff um, for mark making today. I don't want any big fancy patterns, not going to be using stencils, but I do want to add just a little bit of interest with some general texture. So I have this piece of meshy fabric here. This was like um, from a Halloween section um, in a store the other year. So I'm going to use that. Got a piece of hessian that will create a nice sort of woven texture. I've got obviously the little piece of bubble wrap, everybody's favourite. We can all get hold of that. And this piece of corrugated cardboard, again, just creates a nice all over stripe design. The paints that I'm using are DecoArt Americana and if you are not confident about choosing colours of paint that work well together then this is going to be perfect for you because I'm just going to be using two shades of the same colour on each postcard. So I've got a couple of shades of green, I have sea glass and green tree and as you can see light shade and a dark shade, can't go wrong with those. I have lilac meadow and lavender again. They'll just complement each other very nicely. I have Poodle Skirt Pink and Carousel Pink, light and dark pink. And Sea Breeze and Desert Turquoise. And this is just going to create some really simple, just nice harmonious prints. Can't go wrong at all really when you're working like this. Um, but as always, use whatever you've got. If you want to use clashing and contrasting colours, please go ahead and do so. I would suggest that you use a paler colour or a, a lighter shade first, and then your second layer, use your darker or brighter colour on top, just in case there's some transparency in your um, paints. But having the darker colour go second is, is going to give a clearer image. I've drawn up a template um, for my greetings that I'm going to put on the postcards and I will upload a copy of this to my blog and again I'll pop a link in the description below. If you want to go and print this off and use these please go ahead and do so um, with my blessing. Quite happy for you to use these. If you want to create your own templates, your own greetings then go ahead and do it. Keep it simple, don't be too fussy about it. You know if, if you are happy to draw your own or write your own font go and do it if you're not so confident you could always print off a chunky font and cut the letters out but as i say i will pop a link to this sheet for these four different greetings and you are more than welcome to go and use them so each print that we do is going to be um, in two layers and i'm going to begin by brayering my lighter color uh, paint on my plate first adding a little texture pulling a first layer of print, then I will go ahead, cut out my words um, into a mask, pop that down on the plate and print with a second colour on top. So beginning with the turquoise paints, I've got my brayer, this is just my Ranger um, red rubber brayer. And I'm just going to spread that paint evenly over the surface of the plate. 
I've got a piece of um, copy paper at the side here just to roll off any excess paint that's on my brayer. I'm going to take one of my little household items to add some texture. So I'm just going to press that Hessian lightly but just firmly all over into that paint. Lift it off. As you can see, it's left an impression in there which will give us some texture. I'm going to take my postcard, pop it face down there onto my plate. And I don't want to get paint on my fingers and on the back of this. So I'm just going to take a spare piece of copier paper just so that I can press down all over without getting any smudges of paint on the back of this postcard. And that gives us our first layer of print. Now, if you want to clean off uh, the rest of the paint, pop your piece of paper back down again, see if it brings off any more. I'm going to go ahead and just use a damp cloth to clean off any of the excess that's on there as I don't want that to be left behind. So just a bit of water, a bit of paper towel. I'm going to take my second colour of paint, my darker shade, I've cut out the high shape here just used a knife, um, craft knife. Now the one thing to remember when we're popping these down is you need to put them face down. They need to be in reverse so that when they print, they're the right way up. So just gonna pop that down. Going to add a bit of texture to this layer. So let's use the bubble wrap. Going to take the postcard, pop it down over that template, and press down firmly all over to transfer the paint. And when you lift it off, there we have our second layer and our little greeting on our um, postcard. Nice bit of pattern, bit of texture there. Just want to set that aside to dry. For this second one, I'm going to use my shades of pink paint. And just like before, I'm going to begin with my lighter colour. Roll that all over the surface of my plate. going to take I think this piece of netted fabric just spread that out over the surface I'm 
entertainment postcard. And press down firmly for my first layer. And there's our first layer. Love the design that this um, piece of fabric gives. Really, really fun design. Going to take that off. Might save that, reuse that as a print and something else. And again, just clean the rest of the paint off with a bit of damp paper towel. I'm going to take my darker shade. Over the plate and this time I'm going to be using the hello friend so got all my letters cut out a little bit more uh, time-consuming this one was again just want to check that I'm going to get them in the right position um, and remembering to pop them down in a mirror image so that when we print them they come out the right way. I think for texture this time I'm just going to use the piece of cardboard create a striped design. I'm going to take my pink printed postcard, pop it down over there and take a piece of paper and again press firmly all over to transfer that paint. And there we go, there we have our second postcard. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the other two designs um, using the other shades of paint that I've got and I'll be back then to show you how you can add some extra embellishment to those finished prints. So here's my four finished postcards. I'm going to add a little detail um, to one or two of them. Definitely going to add a little detail to this one just to define the, the edges of the letters, to be perfectly honest. It is readable what it says, but because of the patterning, um, it does sort of blur a little bit and it's not quite so clear as it is with the others. This one I'm going to leave as it is, completely, perfectly happy with that. It's nice and bright and there's the contrast. Same with this one. I mean, I think because we have the larger shaped mask, it creates a real good dynamic um, sort of print on there and it's, it's, it's nice and has impact. This one is very clear what it says, but I think there's quite a lot of just plain space, so I'm going to add a little bit of detail to that. But I'm going to begin with this one, and all I'm going to do is take one of my um, Posca paint pens and outline the words and, pop, and just put a little doodle border around the edge, keeping with the sort of fairly monochrome um, prints that we've done. I've chosen a pink. I do have this pink here, which is very similar to this pink in the background, but I'm going for the slightly darker one. Um, it's this one called, this is fuchsia. And I think it'll just, it'll stand out nicely and add a nice contrast. So that really just brings it out, um, finishes that off quite nicely. But I like the fact that we're still just working in shades of pink on there. I'm going to bring in this green one and try and decide what I want to do on this. I think I'm going to work in a very similar way, to be perfectly honest. So 
going to choose a, a green so I'm going to use this one which is light green and again, going to outline my words. And I think I might then take a white and do some little polka dots in the background as well. You're like an ocean without land, not a single grain of sand. I'm drifting on it. So cold. added a little bit more interest to that but still kept it on a nice monochrome um, effect and as I say these two here I'm not going to do anything with those perfectly happy with how they've turned out so I hope that you've been inspired to try something um, simple yet effective today I mean these would say greatest postcards you could do them on the front of a greetings card you could pop them into a planner or a journal pop it in a frame, hang it on the wall. You know, there's there's lots of things you can do. But the way the world is at the moment, there's a lot of us that are still separated from people that we would usually be meeting up with and, and you know, enjoying spending time with. Pop them a little um, postcard in the post just to say hello, just to let them know that you're thinking of them. Um, it's It's a great idea and doesn't really take much time at all. As always, if you enjoyed this, please leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. As I do with all of my gel printing um, videos, I'll leave a link to the playlist in the end card. Go check that out if you want some more inspiration. And I'll be back again soon with another video. But for now, that's all. Bye. great